Nice to be shiny, how I made my hair very nice. Okay, materials used. I used rhinestones, a black shirt cloth that I got from Pablo's for $180, fabric glue, stencil blade, and a black ribbon. Let's get started. Okay, first we'll be working on the cloth. I'm just gonna be cutting the length that I want. Not too big. I'm now going to be cutting that length in half. Once I've gotten my desired length, I'm now going to be placing one over the other. Then I'm going to find the middle and then I'm going to cut, giving me two rectangles. two rectangles I'm going to be stapling the sides of one you're only going to need one for one mask if you're making two masks use both rectangles so once each side is properly secured I'm going to be drawing my eyes now this is the hardest part Once I drew one of my eyes, I'm going to be cutting with a stencil knife and testing it on my face also. Now guys, I realized that I made a mistake and you'll see soon. I drew both eyes as identical in the wrong direction. But no worries. careful consideration I figured out what to do so I'm just gonna be taking that sensor knife and adding some more cuts and adjustments okay so once I got the desired shape I'll now be heading to Google to <laughs> get some inspiration for the outline of my mask. Now, this is the bottom and this is the finished outline of the mask. some more cuts evening the edges and to make both sides identical now I'll be adding my fabric glue take extra care to add to the edges okay I decided to use this blue uh, sparkly foam material as my dress is navy blue and I thought it would add a nice undertone. I'm now cutting out the eyes. After which I'll be adding my rhinestones. Here I'm just testing 
trying to figure out the design that I want and I didn't any glue as yet but after figuring out the design you glue the rhinestones to the black share then you glue the share to the blue foam after which you simply glue on the ribbons thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe bye